Hey, still Duff. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, the London Hammer. It's been choking my social media feed again. So I've grabbed a bunch of uh, screenshots of where I have seen it. And we need to talk about the London Hammer and how, yeah, it's a real thing, but it's also fake. What do I mean by that? Let's find out coming up next. I know that this has been covered on several other YouTube channels, and so there's plenty of information out there uh, out there about what's wrong with the uh, London Hammer as an example of an ancient artifact. Right? This isn't just a young Earth creationist thing. This is also shows up on uh, you know like ancient aliens uh, sort of th uh, threads and uh, people who want to think that there was some kind of ancient civilization that had better technology than we do or uh, you know, so it's a it's a phenomena that goes beyond young Earth creationism, and so I'm actually going to start with an example uh, from a non young Earth creationist source talking about the London Hammer. So, for example, the London Hammer discovered in 1936 in Texas. Okay, that's factually correct. All right, so well, great, we're off to a great start. It's real. In 1936, is a controversial, out of place artifact. Is it controversial? Only sense that people try to say that it's controversial. There's <laughs> just not really much controversy about this. Um, but in the minds of many people, they want to play it up as being uh, a mystery, right? And all mysteries are controversial. Uh, that it appears to be a 19th century tool, right? The structure of the hammerhead here, how is uh, how has been fa how the metal has been fashioned into a hammer appears to be a 19th century sort of time period uh, piece. Okay, if you were to examine hammers from around the world, <laughs> most particularly hammers from Texas, right? <laughs> um, and, and that general area, you would find that the shape of this particular hammer, whoever uh, fast fashioned this particular hammer with whatever skill set they had, Right, is very much like a 19th century Texas area technology. Um, but here's, here's the thing, even though it looks like it's from the 19th century, it's encased in rock, right? And that rock is purportedly dated. So now at least history mysteries is not saying it is this. It, they're just saying like purported, could be, you know, they're trying to, trying to, get you kind of like like oh well you know this it would seem like a not a very interesting thing but maybe there's something more to it um because the rock that it's encased in is cretaceous period well, that's the age of the dinosaurs how did a hammer from the 19th century end up in rock that is 100 million years old something's you know something's not kosher here Somebody's wrong, right? Either you're wrong about 100 million years or you're wrong about the 19th century. The two can't, the two can't be the same. You know, the, the two can't both be true. And thus the fascination, right? That sparks debate. Again, really isn't any debate. This intriguing find challenges established geological timelines and has generated significant discussion. Well, only significant discussion because you keep spreading this stuff around forcing people like myself to spend some time actually explaining why this isn't that controversial. Uh, and so I guess that would be some significant discussion. Regarding its origin and the processes that led to its encasement in rock, supposedly millions of years old. And there it is. So, now that's real. That's a basically a real picture, a little false color to it, but um, that's a real picture of the London hammer encased in this rock as you can see the 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 uh, shaft of the the hammer is, is definitely inside of that rock before i tell you what happened let's just look at some other examples i want to i want to show you how this uh social media phenomena sort of takes off uh, and how it's portrayed right oh here on the group creationism which is a group that i that i do follow i'll just post this here like you know I, this seems like it could be interesting to this group, so I'm just going to post this here. FYI, it's called the London Hammer. It's said to be 500 million years old. Now, wait a second. Um, the Cretaceous 
Oh, wait a second. The Cretaceous is 65 to what, 120 million or I don't know. I can't remember my exact uh, time frame for that age, but certainly no more than 150 million years old. But, and now we're saying 500 million years old, right? So, but yeah, all the way back into the, uh, you know, the Cambrian period, both creationists and evolutionists have opinions about it. True statement. I have, Okay, lie down, girl. True statement. I do have an opinion about it. <laughs> and most anyone's looked at it has an opinion. Um, and again, same picture. And, you know, plus eight more pictures. It's just the same thing, but slightly different angles. Facebook page, ancient history. Right? Estimated to be 500 million years old. The London Hammer, also known as the London Artifact, is given to a name uh, a a hammer made of iron and wood that was found in London, Texas in 1936. Part of the hammer is embedded in a limey rock concretion, leading it to be regarded by some as an anomalous artifact, asking how a man-made tool could become encased in lower Cretaceous rock. Follow ancient history for more. I mean, yeah, you better follow us because we've got really interesting stuff like this. It's, you know, fascinating. Fine. The London hammer, a 400 million year old mysterious oop art. I guess that's out of place art. Okay, so now here it's said to be 400 million years. Where, where do these numbers come up from? Come from? The, the, the hammer must have been found in a particular location, right? Had to have been, somebody picked it up this it, out of this rock. And that rock has some sort of age. Have people dated this rock to different ages? Where do these dates come from? The mysterious, the mystery of the London hammer found encased in ancient rock, All right? From archeological world. The London hammer discovered in 1936. This intriguing artifact has sparked widespread interest. Now we get a little more detail in this one. Max Han and his wife, Emma, stumble upon a hammer stuck in a rock during a leisurely stroll. They crack open the rock and boom, an ancient hammer emerges. But here's where things get even more fascinating. Experts say that the rock encasing the hammer dates back to a staggering 400 million years, while the hammer itself is over 500 million years old. <laughs> Wait a second. So the rock it's contained in is 400 million years old, but the hammer, what, the wood it's encased in, the, what, 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 what was dated here? The hammer head is 500 million years old? And it has a high, high, unusually high iron content. It's raising eyebrows. Now brace yourself for the twist. Creationist Carl Baugh acquired it in 1983, sparking further debate by claiming it's a pre-flood discovery. Others argue it's just a relic from the 1800s resembling typical American tools at the time. Yes, it does resemble a very typical tool at that time. But what's your take on it? Ancient artifact or geological oddity? Swing by Carl Baugh's Creation Evidence Museum to see it firsthand and join the discussion. Let's unravel this mystery together. The London Hammer, discovered in 1936 in Texas. It's a controversial out-of-place artifact that appears to be a 19th century tool encased in rock purported to be dated to the Cretaceous period, which again is only 100 or so million years old, not 400 million years old, not 500 million years old. Um, all right, but you get the idea. Right, this is just going to go on and on and on. I, I mean, I just did a quick search of a few different places for this. Um, here's on on X. Right, the London Hammer discovered in 1936, embedded in a limey rock concretion, originating from the Cretaceous formation 400 million years ago. All right, misspelled Cretaceous. The Cretaceous period isn't 400 million years. The hammer is said to be approximately 500 million years old. Are we completely ignorant to real history? Well, this person is completely ignorant to real history. <laughs> the Project Unity. The discovery of the London Hammer continues to baffle scientists. All right, let's just stop. There's no baffling going on here. Yes, the London Hammer was found in a rocky concretion. Right, Concretions are the result of Limey, found in limestone, think caves. 
right? When um, that lime or that material, calcium carbonate, you know, gets deposited on something and then reforms into crystal lattice, right? It grows a concretion uh, around things. I mean, that can occur in a relatively short period of time. So 1963 compared to maybe this is in the 1800s. Here's the couple big issues here is we don't really have a full report of exactly where they found this hammer. All we have is a report of this couple that stumbled upon this on a walk, right? And so was this at a location where they were excavating something? And so here out of the side of a, a, a rock wall and just out of the sheer limestone rock, there's like they, this little piece of rock fell out, broke open, and then there's a hammer inside. Or is this a concretion basically from a limestone cave, right? Working around caves and, or you've made a cave, or are they around a mining area? Cause this is a mining hammer. I mean, that that's the type of hammer it is from the 1800s. That's what they would have been doing with it. Is this simply a hammer left in an old cave that then gets covered up, all right? In this limey concretion. And so it is found in that, you know, in that rock formation, because that's where the cave is. And that rock formation is of a certain age, which apparently some people think as uh, is Cretaceous and some thinks it's Cambrian, uh, 500 million years versus hundred million years old. Has actual dating been done on the rock itself? Not that I know of. Has rock been done, has dating been done on the hammer, uh, the, the shaft, the wooden shaft, which is Carl Baugh says it's partially fossilized, although he hasn't actually shown any evidence that's partially fossilized. I'm sure it looks like most of it's just regular wood. Uh, and what about the, the iron itself, right? What's the origins of that? So Carl Baugh took, got it, and he said he's applied a bunch of, done a bunch of sophisticated uh, tests on it right? Chemical tests and so forth. That's where the whole, like, there's high uh, iron content. Uh, but has Carl Baugh looked at other instruments from the 1800s? Has he gone and, and gotten from collections um, hammers that look just like this hammer and tested the iron percentage in those to see if whatever manufacturing uh, capacity somebody had, some blacksmith had back then, happen to have got its ore from a certain place and that's all the hammers have that in other words there are ways to test this but carl baugh is known to be a, basically a shyster within the young earth creationist community he's he collects artifacts and makes these extravagant claims without ever backing them up right there's no publication there's no like publishing his results or allowing other people to see him or do tests or do comparative tests uh, on this stuff at all and so uh, he maintains the mystery, right? By not allowing it, not allowing science to do its thing, which is, you know, actually have hypotheses that are tested by collecting data and, and being able to test a variety of one of the hypotheses being that it is that old. Is it actually that old? Is either the hammer that old or is the rock that it's contained in as old as being claimed? Um, but as long as the mystery, as long as this is shrouded in mystery, it maintains the appearance that there's something weird going on, right? There's a, you know, this, maybe this is something that can't be explained. And sure enough, young earth creationists have an explanation, a potential explanation, right? This was a hammer from before the flood. Now, why some individuals before the flood were using 19th century technology to make hammers? And then after, you know, and then somehow what, Noah remembers this um, and passes on this uh, uh, technology after the flood and people spread out over the whole world, but they don't make hammers this way anywhere else. And, and they kind of wait until there's a lineage living in Texas in the 1800s. And they're like, I'm ready to use this technology now. And that just happens to be where this hammer is found, even though this hammer was from, uh, was made prior to the flood. Right, you, you don't have to think about this stuff very long before you realize this just doesn't make any sense, right? In other words, this is a mystery. Here's our explanation for the mystery. Your explanation for the mystery is more mysterious than the mystery than the supposed mystery itself. Yeah, uh, well, we don't need to do. I only have a couple more of these. I mean, it's it's becomes monotonous.
right? Limey concretion, uh, 400 million years ago. Hammer's thought to be 500 million years ago. These are numbers that have been thrown out by Carl Baugh. The thing is, Carl Baugh has thrown out multiple different numbers at different times, all right? So in his, uh, in his creation museum and in his talks. Uh, and so it's so like, well, you know, it's, it's, it's really old. Although the, 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 at other times they're like, well, but I've done all these tests, right? You know, you can trust me. Trust me, except I, not, I'm not even giving you consistent data. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's another one. Um, the London Hammer. He was on TikTok uh, dating to around 110 million years, right? So they take some kind of Cretaceous number. Uh, if it's Grandpa's Lost Hammer, is it Grandpa's Lost Hammer or an iron implement forged from the blacksmith's shop of Tubalcain? Tubalcain lived before the flood. Right. And then, so here we have like, some of the wood is carbonized, right? Like giving the idea that some of it's somewhat fossilized, right? And oh, what, look, this is amazing that the, the iron hasn't rusted. Actually, it has rusted a little bit since it's, it was found and came out of the concretion, but it's also been held. It's also been kept. All right. I, I'm not showing you what other people have written or talked a lot about this. And they'll make a big deal about the fact that there's very little rust on this. So how could that be? If this was like all iron, it should be rusting once it's exposed to the environment. Or if it was, um, uh, and so, oh, all right, all right. And so what's amazing about that is it must be extraterrestrial technology. This must be extra special iron that we don't know about here on earth. But again, there's nothing mysterious about that. Once this thing was found and put into a museum, it's been in a very dry place with very little exposure to any water, all right? So although it's exposed to oxygen, it needs water as well at the same time in order to form rust. So objects can not rust for long periods of time under the right conditions. Um, and this has spread to, uh, well, in this case, Korea. All right, so this, this whole phenomena of the London hammer is an international sensation. Uh, was there anything else here? Um, the 19th century tool encased in rock purported to be Cretaceous period. This intriguing find challenges. Yeah, this is just the same as that other one. And then we have this extra special one here, which I've seen a couple of these as well, but I, I selected the best looking one. Um, have you heard of the London hammer from rare history stories? All right. Rare history. It's an anomalous artifact discovered in Texas in the 1930s. The hammer encased in rock is said to be millions of old, has raised questions about how this man-made object could be found in such ancient geological formations. Look at that. Look at that hammer. Obviously, that is an amazing hammer. <laughs> it's not even encased in rock. All right. <laughs> it is such an AI-generated image. All right, so you, you have this rare history stories all right have you heard of this artifact and they can't even use an image of the actual artifact all right so they've taken what 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 most people have turned into kind of a fake story based on a real object and they've created a fakish story on a fake object right now that's taken it to the ultimate extreme uh that's it that's that's the london hammer we don't need to be um I'm just appalled by the number of likes and shares some of these get. Um, people don't know better. It's easy to fool people. And I'm, you know, I, I would like to see everyone have more discernment, but I understand that you know, most people haven't thought about these types of things. They think that sounds really intriguing. And when you tell people that it's controversial, right, people understand that as being, oh, like scientists are not sure right? Oh, there's, there's, there's different pieces of data that contradict each other. So therefore there might be alternative explanations for these types of things. Yeah. So it, it's, um, it's very alluring to someone who wishes to believe that, um, there's something other than the conventional standard understanding of the world's time frame and, uh, chronology and feel like, you know, they've already, they're predisposed to believe that people are hiding things. Scientists are hiding things. Governments are hiding things. All right. And so then objects like this come along and, you know, sort of feed that, that need or desire for feeling like, oh, I know about something that uh, can't be explained by other people. Um, and so it's, it's just, it's, it's, um, 
it, it's quite a drug, all right? And, and, and this is why this stuff spreads like wildfire. And this is why it's hard to put out, right? I can comment on this and I can make this video and others have made videos and others have talked about this and it's a pretty simple story. Right? It's a pretty it's a very simple explanation for how this hammer came to be in a in a concretion from the in the 1800s. But that's a boring story. It's like, okay, all right. Well, that's all there was to it. That's not very interesting. Right? It's hard to defeat interesting with the mundane. Um but it's just yet another example of how we uh, we gravitate toward the exceptional. It's just like I've been talking about AI images, you know, that are flooding Facebook. You know, nature photography. Wow, stunning images of things, except that they're fake. And we're drawn to the fake because of it, because they are more dramatic. You know, they're they're sharper. They they, they appear to be more. You know, in some ways, they feel like I, I you wish they were real. I wish I could see that. That's an incredible scene. And it just devours and diminishes the real things, right? The real truth, which is the truth is there's an incredible beauty in this world. Right? But as somebody who does photography, it's it's very uh, discouraging uh, because it can take me a long time and a lot of shots to get something that's really pretty good. But AI images can just like, you know, like generate thousands of those images. That, that I can spend a lot of time making one of. Um, and it, it, it's it's dispiriting to find that people believe that the world appears a certain way that it isn't. Um, oh, sorry, that has really nothing to do with this particular uh, video. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I, I of course I thought about it because of this AI generated image right here. All right, that's it, that's the London Hammer. Um, and, um, you know, thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. Watching smash the like button. All right. I'm out of here. All right. Oh, by the way, I'm going to attach another, you know, since I'm talking about AI, uh, I've been playing with AI music generators and for fun, I'm going to add my exit song. All right. After this, thanking you for, um, uh, sharing this time with me today. All right. Here we go, coming up right here. Bye. Dr. Joel Duff on the screen, education sensation. Biology dissected deep like meditation. Fossils and genomes, how we use on a mission. Cracking the mysteries, evolutionary translation. Fans in the comments, classroom of digital age. From simple cells to the complex, unlock every page. Virtual lecture hall, click the bell and engage. Dr. Duff with the knowledge, life's intricate stage. Thank you for watching, you the MVP. community subscribe for the journey a click sets us free together we explore this biology microscope visions every pixel in tune joel duff breaking it down lighting up like the moon dna double helix no view obscure from classroom to youtube evolution secured dinosaur bones paleontology roam knowledge homegrown duff carved it in stone from school desk to mobiles the facts getting shown dr duff keep it real academic throne thank you for watching you the mvp community subscribe for the journey a click sets us free together we explore its biology Subscribe for the journey, a click sets us free. Together we explore its biology.